Yobos, this is we to play the Brenton Brushworks of YouTube. It took me a while, but I am finally able and ready to present my special Animal Crossing New Horizons Museum presentation video. Let me tell you everything about this museum since Bladders is sleeping on the job again. Poor Al. Over here we got the bug exhibit. Over here we've got the fish exhibit. Up here... I don't know what's up here. It's nice. And then down up the stairs we've got the fossil exhibit. We're gonna go through each and every part of the exhibit at a nice pace. So you can see everything that's there. So let's start with the bug exhibit. I was amazed the first time I saw these exhibits. I'm just bummed because when I did record it, I actually didn't record the music. Whoa, okay. Well, there's the tiger beetle right there. Um, doesn't look like there's anything for the trees. I'm guessing some of the bugs that are supposed to be on these trees don't come out till summer and then some probably won't be found unless I grow a coconut tree so I have to work on that later oh there's like some water bugs what's this oh there's a fish here why doesn't it tell me about the fishies in the water whoa oh that was me uh, man face stink bug. The honeybee. Wow, it shows each and every one. I like that. Tiger beetle. And there, like I said, there are some fish down there. But for some reason, is it right here? No, that's not it either. Ooh, I found the butterfly. Um, is it over here? Well, it's somewhere. Oh, there's a koi there. Hmm. There's several koi, actually. Maybe those are just extra fish that um, were added once I added my fish to the list. I don't know. Where's the... Okay, well, there's a spider right there. That's, that's a good place for him. Shouldn't there be a sign for the butterflies and stuff? Hmm. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. I swear there should be a sign for that blue butterfly. But we'll just move on because I think I've went through the majority of signs here. We got the tiger butterfly, and that's it. The common butterfly, the yellow butterfly, and there it is, the emperor butterfly. So some of them just come and go as they wish. And there is more than one. Yay! I like that. We got the ladybug. Anything over here? Nope. Not yet. Let's look in here. This is such a nice museum. This is this is honestly the best museum I've ever seen. Let me know what you guys think. We got the pill bug somewhere. I don't honestly see it. Maybe it's in the can. <laughs> I'm sorry. I did not even mean for that to be a potty joke. Uh, maybe on their leaf. The centipede, I can kind of see it. And the moth. Over here, we've got this beautiful, and this is what I was looking for before I wanted to start the video. An orchid mantis that I happened to find a few times. The first time, I didn't even have a bug net, so I couldn't even catch it. 
I made my priority today to make sure I caught one before starting this video. And there it is. There should be a regular mantis somewhere. I don't know where it is. Got the mole cricket. Doesn't look like there's anything in any of these. Um, oh, well, there's some bugs here. The wharf roach. Several of them. And a hermit crab. Neat. There's nothing here yet. Ah, but over here, we have the paper kite butterfly. Looks like there's going to be a couple of other ones once I find them. I think that's it for the bug exhibit. I'm not really much of a bug person myself, but this is a very, very beautiful area. Oh! Oh, I forgot about these two. The bagworm and the wasp. Ugh, I hate wasps. Not as much as I hate tarantulas. And then, once it comes up, scorpions. Oh, joy. I'm going to have to watch out for scorpions at summertime. Yikes. Luckily, it seems like if you get bit or stung, you just end up at your house. There's nothing else that happens. Other than spooks. Alright, let's take a look at the fish. This is probably one of my favorite exhibits. Ooh, there's that sturgeon. Nice. And over here, we have the freshwater goby, the yellow perch, the crucian carp, and that's it. I thought there was another one. And this one is a cherry salmon, also found today. That was just luck that I found that one. But I'm happy that I did. There's nothing in here, though. Hmm. Maybe that's where the sharks go. I'm sure there's sharks in this game. Black bass, the carp, and the koi. Definitely love the koi. There's nothing else over here. So, let's go this way. I think this is ocean fish now. Ooh, it's so beautiful. Let's see what we got. Anchovies. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's so many of them. So those are anchovies. What about that fish right there? The horse mackerel. Aw, oh, he's kind of lonely. I should find him some friends at some point. Down here we have the barrel eye and this beautiful or or fish. I almost said oral fish, but or fish. And then there's the football fish right there. Oh, I love that oar fish so much. Huh, look at that. There's diver suits and submarines here. That's neat. I wonder if that's just aesthetics. Is there anything else? I don't think there is. There's another room, obviously, but I think I found everything in that room. Let's see what we got here. Sea butterfly. Wow, look at them all. Oh, that's neat. There's nothing in here. Yet. So. Ooh. This museum's so neat, guys. I can't get over that. Over here, we got the barbed knife jaw, the sea bass, gosh dang you. 
as well as the Red Snapper and a Dad. And there is the Olive Flounder. Reminds me of a Stingray. And a Squid. Right in front of me. Nothing over here. So I think that takes care of all the ocean fish. Unless there was something over here. I didn't look at this. Nope. Nope. Alright. Although, I thought there was supposed to be a tadpole somewhere. I did donate a tadpole, right? Hmm. I have to go catch another one just in case. I may have passed it. Finally, we got the dinosaur exhibit. Don't expect too much here. I haven't. I don't even know what's here. We do have a Dunkle Otius. Dunkle Otius. Dunkle Ostius. I have never heard of that dinosaur before. Or whatever that thing is. If I get another one, I'll have bladders talk to me about it. Over here, we've got a plesiosaurus. Not completely done yet. Please donate a missing parts you happen to excavate. Thank you for helping our museum go. Of course, bladders, of course. Oh... We've got the very beginning of a Diplodocus. Again, not finished, but we're starting to make some progress. A Dinal... Dina... <laughs> Dinaichus. I am sorry, I am butchering these names. Okay, I don't think there's anything up there. This should be a Triceratops, yep. Still missing the bomb portion and the tail. This is gonna be an Iguanodon. This is... what now? Where's the... Oh, I guess it's right here. Ah, the Brachiosaurus! Can't wait to put that one together. We only got the head so far. And that's gonna be a Stegosaurus. One of my favorite dinosaurs. And that is the... Pteranodon? I'm so sorry if I'm saying that wrong. I've seen the dinosaur before. That's the Plesiosaurus. That's what I thought I was looking at when I put Cobalt in front of the screen. My bad. Apologies for that. So that's the first room. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What's this? What is this? Seriously, what is this? Is this part of the exhibit? It's so neat. Oh, that's like the meteor that hits the Earth. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Oops. My bad. Over here, we've got the saber-toothed tiger. Also missing the bomb pieces. This is the Megalosaurus, I believe. Is that how you pronounce that? It's weird, some of these dinosaur names I just don't remember at all. <laughs> Look at this chart here. This is a uh, very interesting, like, kind of like it. And then finally, the in the tour up here, we have... Oh wait, that is the end of the tour. Unless there's something over here. Let me just double check. Probably not. Yeah, there's nothing else over here. Okay, that's the end of the tour. So, I'm getting a pretty good start on this museum. Mostly with bugs and fish. Dinosaurs are going to take some time. Like, I have to 
always be looking around every day for fossils, but don't expect those to get done anytime soon. If I could find some southern hemisphere towns to visit, I might be able to get some of the fish that only show up at winter time. Stringfish, ooh, that's going to be a hard one to nab, but I'll definitely be looking for it. I believe that you have to find it while it's raining. I don't remember if there was any other weather I was supposed to worry about or a certain day a month. But anyways, that is going to be it for the tour of I.O. Revise's fabulous museum. I'm very proud of it. So, thank you for watching. Don't mind the glasses. I'll take those off later. I forgot I was wearing them. But until then, and until my next videos in Animal Crossing stuff, possibly live, this has been We to Play. I got nothing left to say, so I hope you enjoy your day. Catch you later.